brighten your day by watching the Time with Teresa television show. Whether in the studio or on location, Teresa Westbrook and guests will warm your heart and encourage your soul. And now, your host, Teresa Westbrook. Welcome to Time with Teresa. I'm your host, Teresa Westbrook. And tonight, we are on location at the beautiful Harkins Theater in South Lake, Texas, to celebrate the screening of the We Are Stronger film produced by this beautiful woman beside me, Carla McDougall. Welcome, Carla. Oh, I am so thrilled to be here with you, Teresa. It's just such a blessing. Thank you. Well, we're delighted to be here and finally get an interview with you. We've been trying to do this for some time, but the schedules just haven't worked out. And so it's all working out tonight. So awesome. we're so happy to celebrate with you tonight. This has to be rewarding to see your your film come up to the big screen this week. It, it is such a, it's surreal. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say that. Um, you know, in Ephesians 3, 20, when God says, you pray, and I will do immeasurably more than you ask or imagine, he does immeasurably more, and we are experiencing that. Um, it's, it's truly been a grassroots movement, and so we are, we are just blown away. Yeah, and it's, it's taking fire. Well, now, Carla, what was the inspiration to make a film for veterans suffering from PTSD. What was your inspiration for that? Well, this is actually our third film. Okay. And one of our, our uh, team members came to me and said, what about a movie with a soldier coming back from Afghanistan and he's injured and he deals with uh, PTSD and we show the effects on the marriage and the internal struggle and the need for community, but ultimately the hope and healing that Christ provides. And when our whole team got together and we discussed it, I remember we we're sitting around my, my breakfast table and almost like collectively, we said, how could God choose us? Because not one of us grew up in a military family or first responder family, nor are we married to military or mm -hmm. veterans or first responders so we took it to prayer and just said lord you know help help us to, to hear from you because we don't feel equipped and then and then again collectively we felt like god said you're right you're not equipped mm -hmm. and i'm not calling you because you're equipped i'm going to equip you because i've called you awesome awesome so, that and that's what we did. And, mm -hmm. and I think the thing about that is we can never receive the glory. Mm. He gets the glory 100%. And he began to bring the organizations and the people and the, the interviews that we did with veterans. We, f we found out this goes so far beyond veterans mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. um, first responders to burn survivors, of which we have two burn survivors in our movie that actually share their story mm -hmm. and play their own parts mm -hmm. in the movie um, to uh, um, sexual abuse and on and on mm -hmm. trauma, mm -hmm. trauma survivors. Mm -hmm. And so that's where the movie really c began to unfold. Mm -hmm. So, Well, now, Carla, how long did this film take to shoot? Four years. <laughs> Four years. Okay. And the, the thing is, it's a little bit different than some other production companies. Um, we, we are a nonprofit, Reflective Life Ministries, and under that, it's, it's like the umbrella. Underneath that, we have um, Reflective Media Productions. And so 100% of the, this film has been produced through donations. Oh. We, we don't owe anyone, you know, you know any that's investors, awesome. you know. I'd say that's a miracle. It was a miracle <laughs> and the Lord provided. Um, and and uh, along with that, our, our actors, actresses, um, uh, screenwriter, um, producers, directors have given their time to mm -hmm. this. Now, when it comes to making a movie, there's a lot of other costs involved, but, but that is what's helped us along the way. And, and we really ride on the, the, 
you know, just the tailwind of the Lord as yes. he has taken us. And um, we began to pray for what's called organic demand. The Lord put hmm. two words on my heart because people would ask me, okay, so what's distribution going to be like? What are you going to do? Mm-hmm. And he gave me those two words. So I shared it with our, our team and cast and just said, y'all, I want us to start praying this. And I believe what that really what that is saying is organically move this, Lord, where you want it to go. Yeah. Touch those who you want to touch with this because it's your project, not ours. Mm-hmm. And um, it's the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. Sir. Well, and I understand some really good things have already been happening in association since you started making this film. So just briefly tell us a couple of great things that have happened as a result of this film. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've been, um, I think, ultimately seeing the um, veterans and first responders um, who have been uh, impacted by this movie has been huge. Um, the uh, something that has grown out of it is is a call to action called the Stronger Alliance, and so you know we did, we didn't want to just open up this these veterans to where they'd go. Okay, I'm ready for something, and then now what? Right. We right. give them a place to go get the help. Mm-hmm. It's called the StrongerLines.com. You can go get resources. We've actually written a study that's a six-week study. By, um, Chris Atzett wrote kind of the meat of it, and um, then we kind of added some the study version to it. Um, and it's it, we're real excited for that. So now that it follows the characters, mm-hmm. and you're able to kind of almost unpack it, you know, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. with a biblical perspective. Mm-hmm. So. so you've got follow-up for everyone. This this kind of yes. opens them up to to receive, and now you've got that follow-up with the professionals that they can receive from. So right. isn't that awesome? That is wonderful. It is. How excited are you to be here at the Harkins Theater this week screening your film? And tell us a little bit about the success that it's been experiencing here. Yeah, uh, well, just a little Love Harkins um, Theater. They have uh, been wonderful for us, and we're excited that that they're going to show not only here in South Lake for a week, but it's also going to be in two theaters in Phoenix at the Harkins Theaters there. Um, so we're real excited about that. But we showed it as pre-screening on Monday and Tuesday for veterans and first responders and their families. And um, I hope I can say this without tears, <laughs> because we saw the movement of God. Um, this auditorium became a um, like a, a support system, support group, and and each different. There were amputees here. There were ones that had never talked about. Mm. Forty one years, never had he talked about what he experienced mm. as a sniper in the South African Army, and from the back of the room. He starts talking afterwards during our Q&A, and the Lord started moving. Um, we were invited to to go, and as, a, as our team, the We Are Stronger team, to go to the Adaptive Training Foundation today and spend some time with, with those amputees. Mm. We spent three hours. Oh, wow. And we were the ones blessed. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the Lord's done an amazing work here, and we are just... We are just truly blessed. So Yes, it is amazing. It's truly a God thing. Well, Carla, we just applaud you for all that you're mm-hmm. doing. Yeah. We thank God that you're part of the kingdom of God, sharing good, positive media with others and bringing hope to so many people who are in need. Thank you for stopping by. Teresa, you're awesome, and I appreciate you so very much. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. Vic, Vic, it's a nightmare. Vic, Vic, you're having a nightmare. It's okay. It's okay. You're having a nightmare. It's me. It's Michelle. Everything's okay. There is a full and more meaningful life on the other side of this for you and your family. 
You know what I am? I am impatient. I'm a burden. I'm that thing that's standing in the way of her life and keeping her from moving on. It's, it's, it's like I don't even know him anymore. He's just not himself. He's so different. It's like he came home and it's like he's just blank. You're believing a lie if you think that you're too guilty to be forgiven. Joining me on set now is another cast member from the We Are Stronger movie, Angela Sweet. Welcome, Angela. Thank you. It's so good to have you here tonight, and we're very excited to come out and support and see your new film and get a few interviews with the cast. And so um, to begin with, could you just share a little bit about your professional background with our viewers? Sure. Uh, I began acting when I was eight, uh, really as an outlet, and then... Uh, when I was in my early 20s, moved to Los Angeles to pursue the acting dream and got my Screen Actors Guild eligibility and all the stuff you're supposed to do. Hung it up for eight or nine years while I had children and didn't come back to it until We Are Stronger came along and the Lord called me. And that just pulled you in then. He has his ways of orchestrating <laughs> perfection. You know, he knows what he wants. Yes, yes. Well, tell us a little bit about the role that you play in this film. I play the role of Michelle Raphael the wife of a soldier who is experiencing post-traumatic stress, obviously. And I'm navigating new water. Uh, he's experiencing symptoms I've never seen before. And there's a lot of trials that my character goes through. Mm -hmm. uh, such as? Um, trying to stabilize a household uh, that has uh, lost its anchor, per se. Mm. Um Nightmares. He had lots of nightmares and symptoms, other symptoms, withdrawal of post-traumatic stress that were uncommon and disappointment, really, because he was retiring. After 20 years, we were supposed to be celebrating. Mm -hmm. So it's real life stuff. Yes, it is. Well, then how did you prepare for this role? I prepared by speaking with three people, three people I trusted, respected, and knew would give me the down and dirty, good, bad, and ugly mm -hmm. of their experiences. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, they did, and mm -hmm. I'm so honored to have connected with them and I really it's prayerfully considering everything that they shared and doing my best to be a voice mm -hmm. on camera for those who have suffered in si silence for so long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you had to put so much emotion, I'm sure, into this role, correct? Yeah. And uh, so where were you pulling from for that emotion? Testimonies. Testimonies of women that I'd connected with through Mighty Oaks, real life people who had lost their husbands to suicide, mm. uh, veterans. and These were veterans, Mighty Oaks vet, is yes, the organization? Yes, Mighty okay. Oaks, Warrior Programs. Um, Kathy Robichaud, um, Chad Robichaud's wife, the founder, actually inspired the sort of fight scene you see mm -hmm. in the movie mm -hmm. um, with a very personal message. So the Holy Spirit made it evident what he wanted me to bring to it. And I just mm -hmm. showed up and did my best. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, tell me now, um, what kind of impact has this film had on your life since you've been such a big part of it? Uh, I'll be really frank. I'm a, a sexual abuse survivor. Oh, okay. We had that in common. Yes. And the Lord has really used this as a vehicle to slowly bring to the surface some things that were unresolved in my soul. And it's been a painful process to till that land, but it's also been very rewarding. And he has reminded me of just how trustworthy he is 
and just how transforming his word is. Um, he's a good father. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Well, I know it has to be rewarding being a part of a movie that is going to help so many people and already has helped so many people. So we congratulate you and applaud your efforts in this, and we look forward to seeing it tonight. Thank you. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you. God bless you. You too. Joining me on set is one of the cast members of the We Are Stronger film, Justina Page. Welcome, Justina. Thank you. Glad to be here. Well, it's so good to have you with us tonight, and we're excited about your film debut here at the beautiful Harkins Theater. Uh, tell us a little bit about the role that you play in this film. Okay, sure. I play the role of Aunt Hazel, who is the neighbor to the main character, Victor Raphael, or Master Sergeant Victor Raphael. So my role is the voice of encouragement and the voice of hope. Well, that's a beautiful role to play. <laughs> you lucked out on that. <laughs> I did. I get to play the wise woman. <laughs> yes, that's great. That's great. Well, now, Justina, I understand that you do a lot of work with uh, people who have suffered from post-traumatic stress uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Yes, ma'am, I do, um, and in particular with burn survivors. Mm -hmm. I myself, I'm a burn survivor, and I have a nonprofit, the Amos House of Faith, that supports children and families affected by burn trauma. Yes, because you've been through fire with I your have. family. in 1999, mm -hmm. myself, our six sons, my husband, we experienced a horrific four-alarm house fire that resulted in the death of our 22-month twin son, severely injuring the other twin and myself, all of my boys and my husband being burned, and us losing everything that we had. Mm. So sorry to hear that, oh, but you. you're well on the road to recovery, yes. restoration? Yes, ma'am. God had made all things beautiful in his time. Amen. Amen. So there's always hope. When it you're is. going through the fire, there's hope. It there's is. hope. Wow. Wow. Well, tell us, tell our viewers, Justina, uh, if they suspect someone is suffering from PTSD, what's the best thing they could do for them? Well, first of all, don't judge. Be compassionate. And if you don't know what to do, get professional help. Mm. Lead them to the source that know what they're doing. Yes, yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, Justina, we congratulate you on Thank your you. new film, and we're looking forward to seeing it. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, it was my honor. Thank you. Joining me on set now is part of the cast of the We Are Stronger movie, Robin Murray, who <laughs> is the writer and director of We Are Stronger. Welcome, Robin. Thanks, Teresa. Glad it's, to be here. Well, it's so good to have you. And, uh, to begin with, uh, how do you think things are going? This week it's been screening at the theaters. How's it going? Just the way it seems to go every time we do this is, you know, we're blown away at what God does to use this. You know, it's touching hearts and bringing people into community and bringing up things that, uh, you know, they need to bring up and talk about for healing and you know it's just mm -hmm. it's just a beautiful thing to watch yeah. it's really a movie that ministers right it's absolutely ministers yes mm -hmm. and uh, now tell us how long did it take you to write the script mm. well i laugh and say that that i probably rewrote the script more than i wrote <laughs> the script okay so uh, the original writing of the script um you know, it's hard for me to know exactly how long it took because it was, it, you know, I would take three hours here and three hours there and three hours, you know. So I would say it probably just that original script was 75% done within maybe a month, you know, once we had gathered a lot of information mm -hmm. and um, and all. But, but I, I can say, though, uh, that in 2015, I was about 75 to 80% done with the script. I have to tell you that that you know I I am not a professional script writer. This is not. I was trained in. I was a teacher. Mm -hmm. I taught history in the secondary and college level, and then I stayed home with my kids. Okay, so I'm not like a script writer who really even. I don't have the software or any. I don't <laughs> know how to do it. So, um, or at least any kind of formula to do it. But I came to the CMA conference in 2015, and there was a. a a breakout session for script writing. Mm -hmm. you know, it's called Conquering the Beat Sheet. Mm -hmm. 
have to be honest, I didn't even know what a beat sheet was, right. okay? And I think that's like script writing 101. I mean, <laughs> seriously, uh, the man that was teaching the conference, and I wish I could remember his name, I, but because he was so vital. Hi, and, Andrew Labrizzi. Uh, uh, that sounds familiar, yes. <laughs> it, well, he's a teacher down in, he was a professor of some sort down in maybe mm. Waxahachie? Or? Oh, no, maybe not. Then, okay, no. okay, okay. <laughs> So he just had this great presentation using, you know, using an actual movie that had done well in the box office and just showing how there is almost a formula, you know, going minute by minute, you know, and I was like, wow, it's so great. So after the talk, uh, I saw Carla and I said, can I have the keys to your car? I got to go find Wi-Fi and write the rest of this movie, <laughs> you know, so um, because th then I... You know, then I it all kind of fell together. I knew how to pull. But again, that was a first draft. Mm -hmm. uh, so then after that, God began to bring in our actors and our people that would work because, you know, they were they were volunteering their time. Mm -hmm. So um, so it was an interesting group and they all had a story. So as we learned their story. I began to rewrite and put their story into the script. Mm -hmm. So um and that really is it was that put some flesh to it. That's what some God was doing. So, yeah. so this, you know, they were not paid actors, and mm -hmm. they were not, except for two or three of them, they were not trained actors, mm -hmm. and so they were able to really not have to act. They were truly telling their story essentially. Right. Right. Um, so that's where God just came in mm -hmm. and just did it. I mean, he he arranged that. Uh, mm -hmm. So, but I, I had learned long ago, not long ago, but eventually, you know, at some point, writing skits for Carla's retreats I had learned to just pray and, and get out of the way it, it wasn't in lesson easily learned God had to say who in the world do you think you are at one point you know because he had given me this great idea and I was fighting it but but when I did write what he said it, it was touching lives and so I, I had learned that and so that was, it was just a very prayerful process of writing and then rewriting Okay, well, we only have about a minute left, and I've got a couple of more questions I'd like to ask you. What do you hope the audience will walk away with after they view this film? Yeah, uh, hope is is the the key word. Uh, the beauty of it, and, and I know Carla has talked a, a little bit about that, is that there is follow up, uh, there is community, mm -hmm. and if they go to strongeralliance.com. Stronger okay. Alliance website, mm -hmm. uh, they can find a group, whether it be a group in their area or an online group. Mm -hmm. They they can, f you know, that is the hope that people walk away knowing that God loves them, God sees them, and there is a way for them to find community and find healing, and they have hope in that. Awesome, awesome. Well, one last question, Robin. Uh, fill in the blank. Okay. I wrote this film because... I mean, that's a story. I, I wrote this film because I was already the writer for Carla's ministry, and this is what they wanted to do. But in the end, I found out that I wrote this film because God loves his hurting people. And, and I was available because I have total support from my husband. And I was, my, I was an empty nester. I enjoy writing, and, and I was prayerfully wrote it because God loves his, his hurting people. Well, we're so excited to be here, and we're going to view the film in just a few short minutes. So congratulations, and we wish you much success in all of the endeavors that all of the cast and Carla McDougal have been performing. And, um, and I know it's going to touch many lives, and I can't wait to see it. God bless you. Thanks, Teresa. <laughs> I'd like to share one story. Um, yeah. There was a, a guy there named Mike that came on, on Monday with his wife. He came back on Tuesday and brought two friends with him, um, both of which are um, am amputees, mm -hmm. and one of them is actually even blind. And I thanked him for coming back. After the movie was over with, and it was just, it was almost like this immediate moment of, we just opened it up for Q&A. And Mike, who ha actually has um, Parkinson's, third stage, I think is the way it's put, mm -hmm. Parkinson's, he began to talk. And for him to even be able to share from his heart, um, it took courage. Mm-hmm. And he began to share how 41 years ago he had 
the things he had, not, not specifics of what he had done, but he was a sniper. Mm-hmm. And it must have been very painful. And he just kind of let it sit for years and years and years. And he's been, they've been married 27 years. Mm-hmm. And he said, until last night, he had never talked to his wife about any of his experiences um, as a sniper. And he said, but last night, seeing this movie opened up an opportunity for he and his wife to finally talk. They talked in, to early hours of the morning mm-hmm. and just sharing and crying together. Mm-hmm. And he said, if it hadn't have been for this movie, opening up that opportunity. Mm-hmm. Well, as the Q&A ended and they came down to the front, Nate, who's the one that's blind, he said to me, would you mind coming to the adaptive training center on Friday? Mm-hmm. Well, absolutely. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? And he said, it's, um, it's where many of us who have experienced, you know, uh, a loss of a limb, mm-hmm. um, that kind of thing. We come and we, we gather together and we go through a nine week course, mm-hmm. um, as, as a community. And I said, can I bring my team? Mm-hmm. And, he said, "Yes, please." Mm-hmm. And so uh, I'm going to I'm going to kind of tag yeah, team over so to you. So. I got to I was part of the team, of course, that came. And on Friday, we went there to the Adaptive Training Center there near South Lake, but I'm not sure where it was. Maybe I'm not sure. Carrollton, Capel, Carrollton, Carrollton. Okay, um, just an amazing place. A brand new facility that had apparently just been lovingly funded mm-hmm. um, for people who are learning how to deal with losing a limb or um, like Mike was a Parkinson's Mm -hmm. um, patient there who was also learning things. So amazing place, amazing people, um, so many volunteers, uh, a bunch of, we we met many, many people that were volunteers that were uh, like special forces guys that were just there to, you know, help, help other guys. So um, that was a beautiful thing, but I was really glad that I got to meet Nate because you had told me that he was blind yet, yet very touched by the film. Mm -hmm. And as we talked to him, um, he told us his story of, of how he had lost his leg and how he had lost his eyesight. And it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And later I was just thinking about that, how um, he felt so willing to share with us something really very precious and private, you know, and hard. And and I'm sure he has shared it before. He seemed like he had worked through it quite a bit. But um, what what struck me was he didn't even see the film. He just heard it. Mm -hmm. But in hearing it, he knew that he was in a safe place. He realized that, you know, he kind of had that moment where he realized, okay, these are people who've gone through pain as well. And he, I think he understood our heart. So it just reinforced to me the, the vital need when people have been through trauma to find community. Thanks for watching the time with Teresa television show. For guest and sponsorship opportunities, contact Teresa today.